Hey everybody, this is Olivia and Sarah from Shanghai. In 2020, um, January 27. That's right. That's right. So just thought I'd give you a quick update on uh, how things are going here. Because in Shanghai. In Shanghai. Uh, because uh, things are unfolding pretty quickly. Um, we are... What are we doing? We went to the grocery store yesterday. It was fairly uneventful, except for the guy wearing uh, swim goggles as we left our building. Um, he was wearing the swim swim goggles because why, Liv? Because it was raining and because he didn't want the virus in his eyes. That's right. He didn't want the virus in his eyes. Um, so, yeah, everyone at the grocery store were wearing, um, yes. were wearing masks. Um, except for that really old couple who looked like they were just going to take it on because they survived a few before. Um, masks. And they didn't have the mask at the shop. And yes, no masks at the shop. Um, masks and hand sanitizer pretty much sold out of most of the shops or all of the shops that we've been into, um, as of last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just read somewhere earlier that the mask company is back at work today, actually, and making 40,000 masks a day. So hopefully at some point they'll make them back at themselves, them back on the shelves, um, make their way back to the shelves, I should say. Um, Olivia is on school holidays at the moment. So she was on school holidays last week and again this week. Um, however, we received an email from the school two days ago that they will be closing until the 17th. So Liv was supposed to go back on the, th the 3rd of Feb and um, will now have to do homeschool um, e-learning from the 3rd until the, the 16th. Um, most schools are doing this. As I understand it, the Shanghai government has just said that no schools can return until the 17th of Feb and uh, no work, no one can return to work before the 9th of Feb. Um, but everyone has to be back in Shanghai by the 3rd so that they have to sit that 14 day um, quarantine waiting period, incubation period out at home to confirm that they don't have the virus. Um, overnight, there was some pretty shocking news that came through to say that the virus is actually able to spread during the incubation period. So everyone that's been taking um, temperatures to determine whether anyone's sick and whether it's okay for them to get on flights, get off flights, um, get on trains, go to work, all those sorts of things, um, has kind of ruled that out as being a safe measure. Um, Steve is obviously going to work every day, working in the hotel, which um, is pretty scary for us. Because he has to take a shower every time he gets home. And our, our new kiss is this, we pinky promise. Yeah, so we've taken some pretty extreme measures to make yeah. sure that nothing's getting passed on. Um, Steve is pretty much decontaminating every time he comes back into the house. Um, clothes, off. shoes... Phone. Mobile phone, his mobile phone, mm -hmm. um, having a shower, wiping down everything with disinfectant. Mm -hmm. So he's not transmitting that. He's actually catching the train to and from work. Um, and that's actually very bad. Well, they're disinfecting all of the trains oh. religiously um, okay. and all of the surfaces religiously. So the, <laughs> they're really, really doing um, a good job of trying to contain this and stop the spread. Um, so I did read, read something scary yesterday in the, um, South China Morning Post, I think it's called, that the, the governor or mayor of Wuhan was basically just saying that, um, 5,000, not 5,000, 5 million people left Wuhan last week, whether it be for Chinese New Year or just after they announced the lockdown. Um, the following morning, so they want to get out at the right time before they cannot see their families. That's true, and they're scared. I really feel for them. I really feel for everyone that's 
been put in that position to choose whether to stay or leave or get locked in Wuhan and not be able to leave um, for their families and their kids. But we are holding strong here. And I just like to put out a big thank you to YouTube, Netflix and Disney Plus who have been keeping Olivia occupied. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Just a big thank you. A big thank you? Yes, so, <laughs> so you can do all your work. And thank you so I can do my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> so anyway, mm -hmm. um, we will keep you updated with whatever else is happening as it happens and um hope everyone stays safe and wear a mask yeah wear a mask wear a if mask. you live in china wash your hands wear a mask australia and where else pretty much everywhere wait everywhere oh, no. no 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 Except for... oh i don't no. know Okay, so let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Say bye, everyone. Okay, see ya. Bye.